YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Galibrace for 2004. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. This series has been doing really uh, well. I think it's actually my best series on my channel so far. So I appreciate you guys' love and support. Uh, last video we left off with, we had bad performances in the Golden Oaks um, and the Golden Derby. We placed pretty badly in both of those, and we had a bad finish in Britain. So we're going to try to uh, obviously have better showings here. So we have two horses, my horses, I believe. We have... Rough Letter, Rising Street, and now Secret Page, which is a new horse that I think we started running on in the last episode. So our um, our first foal, I think, should be born in next year, I'm pretty sure. So this is year 10 or 9 in the game. Our foal should be born in year 10. So I'm really excited, obviously, for that. I do eventually want to get to playing Galbraith 2003, but I decided since we've kind of been procrastinating, mainly me, on this series, I want to make sure we can get to at least seeing our foal born, and I'm trying to progress through that a little bit so we can get closer to actually racing on our foal. And after that, uh, that's when I'll probably temporarily pause this 2004 series and then go to 2003 for a while. Um, but I won't be, you know, permanently stopping each. So what I'm going to do right now is just we're going to go ahead and get ourselves into some races, just try to get the flow back. Crimson Charm. Um, this is a six furlong race. Does this horse have the distance to go? Seven and nine. Can run in the front or the back, but since we don't have to use any points, top three. All right, so that's a little bit, a little bit of pressure on there. No biggie. So we'll run in that grade a three race. Here's another one. This is in Hiroshima. Nine and a half furlongs on the dirt. We have a horse that's really, really wanting to go. Target uh, request? No. We'll do test negotiation. We have bad relationships with Cook anyways. Riviera, Rivera, we're not too bad. 7,000 points. 7,000 points for a top five on the dirt in Hiroshima. No, sir. I do not want to spend points on a grade three race. We have grade ones that we cannot negotiate, but again, we'll have to use our points. Visible puzzle. Let's see this horse, 18,000. Yeah, we don't want to use our points for that, man. We really don't want to use our points for races, so we're just going to chill right now. Okay. Uh, so Rough Letter. Rough Letter likes to go five to seven furlongs. Wait, we can retire Rough Letter now? Are we already in a race? I'm so confused. This horse is only three years old. Why can we retire it so quick? Oh, they already have races. Okay. I'm bugging. But still, we can already retire this horse at three years old. I didn't know you could retire them that early in this game. Interesting. Okay. Anyways, well, we got our first race up here. Uh, so let's see, obviously, how this goes. Like I said, I appreciate all the love support you guys have been showing on the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. It's been so fun. I will be making an Instagram page very, very soon. So by the time this video is uploaded, hopefully, the Instagram page will be up or... Um, yeah, either it should be up or it'll be close to being up. And uh, I'll be really excited to share that with you guys. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, um, I'll post my Twitter. I don't even think I have it linked. It's just a regular horses page. I just post horses. I don't necessarily post horse racing. Um, so, yeah. So, we are gate position 14 here today. Feel of 14. We are third favorite. Trimson Charm. Top three is what we got to get. This horse likes to run either as a leader or a stalker or a closer I should say so um, either way we should be okay either way we should be okay here racing on the turf let's see if we can get a decent start oh man that was so slow I wasn't expecting it to actually be that slow but that actually works out for us that works out for us because we can be we can be a leader or a closer so um, I don't know necessarily what to do we're just kind of drifting in the middle of the pack here right now let's move over as you know what, horse looks to be pretty comfortable. I think we can kind of shoot to the front here. We can kind of shoot to the front. If, if we were going slower or got a worse start, I would have probably held back. But since we're actually doing pretty well here going to the front, I'm just kind of going to let the horse do its thing. Let the horse do its thing. We got space. So, um, okay, two and a half furlongs. Two and a half furlongs. Let's get going. Let's get going. I think we timed that spurt right. Good timing on the spurt. Good timing on the spurt. This horse flying, that's got to be the favorite. That has got to be the favorite. That is absolutely just blew past us. We're third place right now, but the field is closing in. Field is closing in. We're not going to get third. Oh, man. 
Lost that head to head. That horse blew eighth place. Golly. Golly. Could I have timed that spurt better? I thought it was a pretty decently timed spurt, but we'll see. Start was bad. Field positioning. Spurt. Okay. Spurt was 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 late. Okay. I thought we had I thought we timed the spurt well. Apparently we did it. I probably should have got it going a little I should have gotten going a little bit sooner. Because once the favorite blew past us, uh poor Crimson Charm, our horse there, got completely demotivated. So that's on me. It's all good. It's all good. Um, it's all good. So bad spurt. So I, like I said, I keep notes because um, I remember what I used to do when I was recording this and I wasn't keeping notes. I would totally be lost as to kind of what happened in the previous episode. And then I feel like there wasn't any congruity. So, or continuity, I should say. So I want to make sure. Now, here's a Caesar Cup in Tokyo, 10 furlongs. We can actually request for this with Nozawa. Um, this horse is high tempered, but that is okay. This race is what 10 furlongs, 8 to 11. Decent stats, yeah. I, I think this is a good ride for us. Hopefully, over odds, win or place. Golly, we are all basically on the favorite for this this G1 here, the Caesars Cup. Oh my goodness. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous now. And we can request for this six furlong. Of course, we're gonna do. Because, like I said, I don't want to use any of my points, especially if we're gonna have bad races like that where we lose points. I can't be wasting them just to get into a race if it's not a G1. Top three. This top three is a little bit pressured, man. I, I, I gotta get my mojo back. Top three is okay with me when I feel I got my mojo going, but you know we just started playing again, so um, yeah. Time expert late in the last race. It's all good. We got to keep pushing. Here we are for the G1. Oh no, we're not going to the Caesars Cup yet. We're doing this uh, this open race here in Barden. Gate position one. We are the third favorite in the field today. Field of thirteen. Peaceful life. There's our horse. We got to get top three. Hopefully, that will work for us. Hopefully. Got time I spurt better. Really, really, really do. Really do. My spurt timing, I think, is the worst. My worst trait in this game. My worst quality. Okay, great start. Great start. Right to the front. Gate position one. We should have a pretty smooth trip all the way through. I feel good about this right now. We should have a pretty smooth trip. Pretty smooth. Now, we're going up a... We're going up a slope right now, or not going up, we're going uphill. If we were going the other way, that'd be going downhill on the slope, but yeah, this should be pretty solid. I don't know, we're, we're probably not going to, okay, sevens, that, that's solid. Like I said, gate position one, sevens, we got a great start. We should be able to really kind of blow this thing wide open. Blow this thing wide open. Two sevens, triple sevens, triple sevens, can we get it? Can we get it? All right, let's get going, let's get going, let's get going. All right, let's go. Two, two furlongs to go. Let's roll. Ah, no triple sevens. Are you kidding me? No triple sevens. Last corner leader, though. And this horse is staying with us. The seven is staying with us. We got plenty of stamina. But here comes the field. What is happening? We still have the lead. We just got to get top three, though. We just got to get top three. We just got to get top three. We got second place. All right, second place. And I'm pretty sure the nine horse was the favorite. Man, what a race. That was a grind. I think we were running a little bit on the rough as well, so I probably should have moved over to my left a little bit. <sighs> yep, that was the favorite. General reason, the nine horse. Um, okay, no rough. Best speed, start dash, quick position. Spurt could have been timed better, so am I timing my spurts too late? Still? Maybe I am, huh? I mean, our goal was reached, and we got uh, 3,100 points. So spurt, yeah, spurt could have been timed better. Maybe I'm timing my spurts a little bit too late, huh? I'm timing my spurts just as they go get going, the AI, and that's not the right time. All right, here's the G1, the Caesar Cup here in Tokyo. We are the favorite perfect voice. Golly, well, I, I run pretty well in Tokyo. Um, yeah, I run pretty well in, on Tokyo tracks or tracks in Japan in general. So this, this should, be, should be doable. Let's go ahead and look at the field here. The seven is visible Gabriel, written by Hilton. The eight is Royal Chief, written by Pack. The nine is True Fighter, written by Craig. The ten is Random Dynamo. Payne's gonna be in the saddle. Secret Show is the eleven, written by Ingram. The twelve is Big Bird, written by Thompson. Good friend there. Thirteen is Primary Enamel, written by Ryan. Fourteen is Mellow Signal, written by Stokes. The one is Cosmic Art, written by Amber. I think we read. Uh, we've. Uh, been on that horse before. The two is Irish Tempest, ridden by Harris. The three, Mellow Saloon, ridden by Ellis. A lot of grays and whites in today's field. That's a beautiful horse. 
before is Instant Scope, written by Turner. Turner's cool. Sometimes he's, he's annoying. He's a little bit arrogant. Vibe is Visible Fear, written by Alvedo. And we're on the favorite in today's G1 Caesars Cup here in Tokyo. Perfect voice. Gotta get this win. Gotta, gotta, gotta get this win. Gotta get this win here today. Hopefully we can. I, I think we should, like I said, I race pretty well in Tokyo. It's not, I don't generally do bad. These tracks are very short and it's easy to know when the time is spurts. I'm feeling a win here. It's been a while since I think we've gotten a G1 win. Yeah, I'm looking at, um, yeah, it's been a while since we've gotten a G1 win, like a while. So hopefully this will be, tonight will be the night for us here in the Caesars Cup. Let's see if we can get a good start. Ooh, kind of fast. Not a great start, but not terrible. Okay. Uh, we got to stay. Okay, horse is actually going pretty. What I love about these tracks, too, there's no hills. There's no slopes, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And we're just kind of going to be right here. We're just kind of going to stay tucked in. That way, if we need to kind of go out, we got the space to go out. I just don't want to be too... Um... Yeah, we got to time our spurt right, too. We got to get going. This horse is just going to slide right in. That, that, that's actually fine because I, I kind of... I don't really want to move inside. I don't. I'll, do, I'll move inside when the field is not too big. But when there's too many horses and the AI have the potential to block you, I do not feel comfortable being on the inside. I just don't because sometimes you get stuck and you can't move. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right here. That way I can kind of swing outside if I need to because there's way too many horses. All these horses in front of me are going to do this massive swing on the stretch. You know what I mean? All right, we can move right now. Perfect. Perfect. We got right. We are right where I want to be. Right where I want to be. Okay, we got to get going here. Got to get going here. Let's get going. Running three wide, four wide now. We're good. We're good. They're swinging. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. We still got the lead going strong. Plenty of stamina. Furlong and a half to go. We have just blown the door wide open. Wide open. Field's creeping a little bit, but I think we got it. I think we got it. May have time to spread a little too fast, but it's all good. We still got it. We still got it. They still would have needed at least another half of a furlong or more to, to catch us. Woo! Finally got a G1. Finally got a G1 win at the Caesars Cup in Tokyo. I felt good about that one. I mean, I would have really had to mess that up. But honestly, I feel if I would have timed that spurt a little bit later, that po we possibly could have lost. And if the race was longer, we definitely would have gotten caught. But, you know, I felt with where we were, I just needed to get out ahead of the field. I knew they weren't going to catch us by the end as long as I timed it, even if it was a little bit early that time. And they actually said it was a, it was a double S for the spurt. So the field was just kind of closing in on us. I mean, it's a G1. It's still a great field of horses. But that is exactly what we needed. We pretty much excelled at everything except for the start and the position. Nozawa, that's our dude, man. I love Nozawa. He always puts us on the right horses in the right races in the right situation. Got ourselves a G1 win. It's been a while. That feels fantastic. That was a good um that was a good week. We got second place at that OC, and then we got a first place here for the G1. Darn near 10,000 points. And we got some gold as well. That's absolutely lovely. That is how we want to do things here how we want to do things so on that note guys i think so we can continue to build off of this grade one momentum whose horse is this i'll cook <laughs> dislike can't even negotiate that is hilarious uh like i said on that note uh we'll be back here with some more gallop racer action because we're going to go ahead and do similar to what we did in this episode in the next one we're going to go ahead and uh, request for this oc and we're going to run in this g1 here into toronto the summer gp so excited to do both of those races i would test for these but like i said points I, I really just want to focus on requesting uh you know horses right now i don't want to waste any of my points negotiating unless it's like a really cheap negotiation appreciate you guys love and support on the channel as always make sure to, to, uh, to smash that like button and subscribe of course if you are new we'll be back to more galbrace 2004 action here very soon horse racing gamer sign out till next time we well, have a great fantastic day see you and goodbye